As a budding guitarist, it's inevitable that you're going to come in to a situation where someone's actually going to ask you to pick up your guitar and play something in front of them. And maybe you've been in that situation before, and maybe you're familiar with the feeling of being paralysed with the G chord, all right? Because you don't know anything to play, or maybe you've got a few songs under your belt, but you've got nothing that can really impress anyone, right? When they want to hear the guitar being played. And that's these days when you've got adults with the attention span of a goldfish, you need something snappy. You need something that's going to turn heads. And maybe you don't care about impressing people. I get that, right? Who cares what people think? But sometimes it's enjoyable when you know you can entertain. And that's what this lesson's designed to do. Give you something that's going to give you something a little bit different to play. Okay, so let's just fire right into this, guys. Uh, we're going to start uh, with the chord progression, right? Really easy. We need an E, an A7, and a B7, right? So we're basically playing a blues. Uh, but we've got two particular elements of this that's going to make it sound pretty cool, all right? And the first is going to be something that sounds like this. All right, that's pretty cool, right? That's how we're going to basically start it off. And that's what's going to, oh, what's that? Sounds nice, all right? Sounds different. And I'm going to show you how to do this, okay? <clears throat> so this is the main element. Once we got under this under our belt, everything else is pretty easy. We've got the lick to do as well, but this is the hardest thing. Once you can do this, you're sorted, okay? Um, so well worth it, all right? Because again, it sounds pretty cool. So let's start by doing, uh, showing you exactly what I'm doing, right? Basically, I'm using this little scale in A7. Now we're going to go up it and down it. Uh, in this particular piece, okay? So let's just get that muscle memory built in and we're sorted. Take your middle finger on the D string on the second fret, your third finger on the B, right? And basically we've got two shapes here. We've got shape one, the A7 shape, and shape two, all right? We play everything from the A string with this, all right? So shape one, and then we move our middle finger to four, index finger to three in the B, and we give that a strum, right? So shape one, shape two, shape one again for five. All right. Again, just keeping those shapes. And then shape, uh, shape one for seven and seven. One, two, one, one. And then we're gonna move our middle finger up again. We're gonna do shape two for eight and nine. 10, 11. Shape 1 for 12 and 12, and shape 1 for 14 and 14. Now I know I'm going over this quite fast, but you can stop it, rewind it, um, and once you've got it, you've got it, all right? You should be able to hear that it sounds good, right? You'll know if you hit a, a wrong note, right? So obviously you'll see that at the start I actually went backwards. So you want to build up muscle memory of doing both. Backwards again. Maybe you just want to uh, practice going up and down one. Obviously start off slow and start building it up, right? But it's important to get that muscle memory built in. And then we're going to start strumming. Now, the way we're going to strum, one and a two and a three, a four and a one and a two and a three, a four and a one and a two, three, a four and a one. So you see at the four, I go and a, right? Because we're kind of taking a break there. One and a two and a three, a four and a one and a two and a three. So, get that under your belts. Now let's move on to this, the next hardest thing about it, and that is the lick. This is the thing that's gonna start it all off and get people asking questions. Who is this guy? Who is this mysterious guitar player walking down the street naked? Just don't know where that came from. I've never done that. Okay, but the, uh, the lick. Sounds like that's pretty bluesy, right? Can 
get it. <laughs> All right, so basically we're using open E blue scale here. And uh, we're gonna go two with my middle finger on the D, open, two on the A, open again, and then I'm gonna pull off very quickly on one on the A. Three in the low E. And then move my middle finger back to two in the D. And then I'm gonna get the open E, which makes it sound pretty cool. And I'm gonna let that ring out. And then I'm gonna go into my intro. That sounds class, all right? And what you can even do for some theater, for some drama is count. Even if you just wanna be funny. All right, again, it's a bit entertaining. Oh. And then we're in to our main progression. All right. Okay, so now we've got the hard bit done. Let's just go over the progression. We're going to play E like this, okay? Down, down, up. And then I'm going to take my fingers off. Play everything open, and then back down again. And then down, 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 up, all right? And then again. Four times, and then I'm gonna go back into my A7 and climb up. It's a little recap of all of that together so far. One, two, three, And the next bit, we're going to stab down in the B7, and then this little lick coming up the blue scale. I'm just going 3 0 on the high E, 3 0 on the B, 2 0 on the G. Sorry. Then I'm going to get an A, and do this little fill. 2 0 on the G, 2 0 2 on the D. So, okay, and then back into my E. And that's little like so. All right which um, is a little bit different to the first lick. Pretty much the same. A little bit of a different tempo. Two, zero uh, on the D, two, one on the A. And then hammer on, pull off. On one in the A. Three in the low E. And this time, the open E in the top string and then two on the the, the D, which I think just sounds a little bit cooler this time at the end. All right, so. All right, <clears throat> so let's look at the whole masterpiece together.
And there you have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed that one. Let me know in the comments if you did. Take it easy. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one.